I'm Josh Kelly, World of Wind, currently 6 0 fighting for the Commonwealth title. Um, follow the sport icon. So fresh on a win after defeating Sammy Vargas this past weekend in Birmingham where Amir Khan and Vargas put on a very good display. Vargas was game and he came to fight and Amir Khan does what he sometimes does which is get involved rather than just stick to his own game plan and do what he does best. He likes to trade, he likes all that kind of thing and sometimes he switches off and that's pretty much what Amir Khan has said to Sky Sports and he said that... Um, well, it talks about um, him being chin checked and that as well. So we'll get into that and then we'll have like a little chat about it after. So Amir Khan's statement, which I'll get into right now. Of course, I'm going to be adding the odd word here and there to make it look like it's one consistent thing because Sky Sports have it all over the place. So if I go quiet for a few seconds, I do apologise because I'm trying to find the next bit. Anyway, Amir Khan's statement. People think that I can't take a shot. The first thing that went through my mind when I got dropped by Samuel Vargas was, oh my, people will be saying that, that Amir got knocked down again. I wasn't hurt and I got up straight away. If I was hurt, I would have taken my time in getting up. I lose focus. That's just something in me. I'm not chinny. Not at all. I've been doing this game for so long that I know I'm skillful and better than opponents technically. Sometimes I lose respect and get caught. Then I have to switch on. I think that's what happens. I take it for granted. I think I'm fine. Then take my after game. That's just me. I tried to change it, but I don't think I can. Inspiring, I need to be hit hard before I think, wow, I need to hit or I need to be hit by my opponent to respect my opponent and to get to my A game. Maybe that's why, because I was controlling my sparring against good fighters, I can just switch off. With me, the problem is not punch resistance. It's about not being in the right position to take a shot. Some fighters are so focused about staying in the right position when they get hit. I'm so quick and light on my feet that sometimes I can get hit. As far as brawling goes, no, I don't like brawling, but I always end up in them. When there's someone in front of me who wants to fight, I want to outpunch him, outpower him. Sometimes I'll just think, here we go again. I know how to deal with it. Some fighters don't, but I do. I just get involved, outpower them, throw more punches, throw them off, and just outwork them. So that is Amir Khan's statement as far as all that goes. Um, he does go on about um, Anthony Joshua and Anthony Joshua potentially losing. As um, Amir Khan, he had a, a, a real quick rise after the Olympics as well. And ultimately, he lost the fight. So, of course, he says this about Anthony Joshua as well. Uh, learn from me. We had very similar stock. I lost fights, but that's when you see a real champion. I lost a fight before I was world champion against Prescott. And people said he's finished. But I came back stronger. If Joshua does get beaten, that's the time when people will realise what type of champion he is. To be a great champion, you have to come back from losses. Look at me, people thought I was done when I was 21. Three fights later, I won a world champion. For me, I just want to be a people's champion, a normal guy. When friends come to see me, I help in the kitchen like a normal guy. I, want to be a, I don't want to be a superstar or bigger than anyone else. I'm normal. You saw me in the jungle, I was outside of my comfort zone. Looking back, it was good. I was myself, people saw a different side to me. And I won fans. It was positive. But boxing is what I do best, man. So that is Amir Khan's statement. Um, it is going about him earning money and all that kind of thing. But we'll leave all that and I'll, I'll leave the article in the description if you want to have a read of it properly. So that was Amir Khan's statements to Sky Sports. So him being chin-checked. So as he says, he knows what he has to do. He has a game plan when he goes into a fight. But he does switch off, and I've mentioned this on several occasions, right? And I know you guys have too, that if he concentrates and stays focused, he can school virtually anybody out there. If he stays on the outside and jabs them, throws your power punch here and there, and he's so light on his feet. For me, I always um, say to people, if you want to see the best of Amir Khan, and it's just my opinion, of course, go check out him versus Devin Alexander. That was a masterclass for me. The way that his feet were gliding around the ring backwards, and forward and side to side and his hand speed it was like he was on an ice rink it really was he was just gliding and it was a pitch perfect performance it really was so for me if he could do that each and every fight he's untouchable he really is but he does drop his guard he loses concentration for that split second at the wrong time he's been caught by several fighters of course um with uh, Canelo Alvarez, of course, that's a devastating knockout. And of course, he got dropped by Danny Garcia and others before. And it's because he's doing everything right up until that moment. Then he'll drop 
his left or his right hand at the very, very wrong time, he'll get um, arrogant and he'll think that he can just beat up on them for a second, then go back to his A game. But it doesn't always work. It, within those moments, he gets tagged. And the reason for that is because people are being patient with him and they're waiting for him to do it. And a lot of the times, that's exactly what happens. And that's what happened against Vargas this past weekend, where he got like a little bit arrogant, a little bit confident with the fact that I've got this guy, I've already dropped him, this is going to be an easy night's work. Now I'm just going to play with him, I'm just going to beat him up. And as he comes forward, he gets clipped, he goes down. Now it wasn't the biggest shot in the world, but it was enough to set him down. I think that's probably the best way to put it, because as he says, if he was hurt, he would have taken his time to get up, just get those valuable few seconds, but he wasn't hurt, he got up straight away. Which usually, that's what he does. If you notice, that uh, whenever he gets dropped, he does get up straight away. He's never on the floor and he gets up at like the count of eight. You don't see Ami Khan do that. Um, now, again, against Canelo Alvarez, that was a totally different animal. I mean, Canelo Alvarez can knock out anybody. He could potentially be knocking out Triple G this weekend, right? Potentially. Who knows? But he's got the power to knock out anybody. And of course, when he got caught by Amir Khan, again, Amir Khan was doing great. He was frustrating Canelo. Then suddenly, he drops his guard for that split second. Canelo, who is an excellent counter puncher, by the way, and technician in himself, just followed through with a huge right hand. It hit him on the button. Everybody has a button. Everybody does. Now, for me, I think that I hope, and I really mean this, and I've been saying it for a long time, I always like it when a fighter avenges a loss. So I want to see him in there with Danny Garcia. I know Danny Garcia has lost a couple of fights recently against Keith Thurman and Sean Porter, but I still want to see that fight. I want to see Amir Khan get revenge on him. Is it possible with Prescott? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But um, Canelo, no, it's unlikely he, he's ever going to get um, another fight with Canelo. But Amir Khan is as brave as they come. And if he's offered a fight with Canelo, he'd probably take it. If he's offered a fight with Triple G, he'd take it. But he wants Manny Pacquiao now, uh, and I understand why. I mean, from a British perspective, I would love to see him in there with Amir Khan, uh, with um, Kel Brook. So Khan versus Brook would be an excellent fight for us. But I'm quite happy to wait for it. We've waited all this time, and I'd love this fight to be built a little bit more. For me, I think that Kel Brook needs another win or two, and I think Amir Khan needs another win or two. So if there's an opportunity for Amir Khan to fight Manny Pacquiao or Kel Brook to fight Manny Pacquiao, I think they should take it because it helps them build that fight. If, of course, they beat Manny Pacquiao. If they lose, then I don't really know what to say. But for me, just as a boxing fan, of course, I want to see these two in the ring. And if these two get it on next, excellent. I'm all in, okay? But if they could build it just a little bit more, then great, because a few years ago, this fight was massive. It was huge. It was the fight to be made in Britain. Now it's just, it's still a huge fight, but it's just another good fight is what it is, where a lot of people will be interested, but not as excited as, um, as what they were. That's why I'm saying a couple of fights before these two get in the ring will be ideal. But of course, we are running the risk of one of these guys losing again. It could happen. If Amakar switches off against the wrong opponent, he could be gone if Kel Brook does the same. I know Kel Brook could be gone too. But anyway, I mean, for me, even if, I don't know, say for example, Kel Brook versus Manny Pacquiao happens, which is very possible because Ami Khan versus Pacquiao, both of these guys are going to want a hell of a lot of money. And rightfully so, you know, they've both earned it. But if the money isn't there for them to do it and Pacquiao versus Brook gets made, I wouldn't mind seeing Ami Khan in with like Adrian Broner. That would be an excellent fight. I would love to see that fight. So, Amir Khan has plenty of options. I do feel like he's being presented with only two. It's a case of fight Pacquiao or fight Brook. Brook should be your first option and Manny Pacquiao as an alternative. Other than that, you have no other options. But Amir Khan has all the options in the world. Amir Khan is a superstar. Let's be real. Whether you rate him as a fighter, whether you think he's chinny, whether you don't, whether you think he's overrated, you still know him and you're still going to watch him. Because you don't know what's going to happen in, um, in this fight. And that's one of the things that I like about Amir Khan. Is that I'm on the edge of my um, seat. Worrying. Is he going to get chin checked again? He knows that. Of course he knows that. So that's why a lot of fans like him and support him. Or even if you don't, you still watch him because you never know. It's almost like, is this going to be the moment where Amir Khan switches off and gets caught? But you know what? Amir Khan can sell out anywhere. And... 
the box office numbers showed that. Sorry, not box office, but the Sky Sports numbers showed that on um, this past weekend where he hit a record high of viewing figures. So, yeah, anyway, so I mean, I'd love to see him in with Kel Brook or Manny Pacquiao, if not someone like an Adrian Broner would do. And Ami Khan can sell, doesn't matter who he fights, he's going to do good numbers. But will that transition into pay-per-view right now against Kel Brook? It probably will. I think it would do well, but I think it could do better. But there again, are we balancing that double-edged sword here? Um, if if these guys don't fight now, will they ever fight? Will this be one of those fights that, that we go, man, I wish we'd have had that fight. Will Ami Khan and Kel Brook look back on their career and go, man, I wish that we'd have had that fight. And to be fair, they probably will. And we probably will as well. So if there's an opportunity to make it now, why not? But there are other alternatives. Not everything revolves around Brook versus Khan. It doesn't happen. Okay, so there is other fights for them. Um, Pacquiao versus Khan, excellent. Um, Pacquiao versus Brook, excellent. Broner against one of these guys, excellent. Jarrett Hurd against um, Kel Brook or Jamel Charlo versus Kel Brook and a Keith Thurman versus Amir Khan. So there's, there's so many options. There's so many big fights out there. Why put these two together right now for whoever loses will probably end up sailing off into the sun and we won't see them again. But while these two are apart for now, we can get a couple of good events and then ultimately these two come together if of course they keep on winning. If they both take a loss, then they can still fight. If one keeps on winning and the other one loses, it's a little bit more difficult. I get that. But anyway, I don't want to rant on too much about it. You drop your thoughts below about Amir Khan's statement and click that thumbs up while you're there and subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.